So hello and welcome. My name is Steve Nabell and today I'm speaking with Patrice Christofiak on the journey of a medical intuitive. Now, Patrice had a dramatic, we'll find out about this, business event which caused him to start meditation. And after a few weeks of practice, he entered the light. And a few months later, he started meeting people and seeing inside their bodies a kind of x-ray disease, sorry, x-ray vision type of thing, seeing if they had any um, disease within them. He started also receiving information about what to do or where to search for the answer or what specialist they should see. And after that, he began vomiting energy, a bit like the movie, The Green Mile. If any of you have seen The Green Mile, this guy would take on energy and then vomit it out as a way of healing people. And um, Patrice's website is nightshiftguy.com. Interesting website name. So hi, Patrice. Hello, Steve. Thank you for having me on your show. Oh, pleasure. Now I'm just going to... Uh, pin you pin you there so uh, that's uh, great so let me ask you could you say something about this event that triggered the whole thing off yeah so actually i used to work i still work in uh, search engine optimization and i used to make websites and i also made websites for myself and uh, with friends and we would share the income and we had the idea of making a dentist directory for the french market yeah uh but we did not respect regulation. We should have done this project with a lawyer. And since I was in the legal terms of the website, I got sued because we did not ask permission of the dentist association, blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to yeah. go into detail. Yeah. And they sued me. And uh, I risked 300,000 euros of fine and three years in jail. Oh, uh, they sent you to oh, jail? Almost. <laughs> almost. <laughs> I didn't go, oh, okay. fortunately. So uh, there was a lawsuit against me. Uh, that, that was what I risked because these are uh, predefined penalties for website and uh, business things. So this is for the worst case scenario. But since it yeah. was the first time I got sued, I, my imagination was too vivid and I imagined the worst. Yeah. That I would go to jail and everything. But Goodness. that was a horrible journey because uh, it puts a lot of stress on the entrepreneur. I did not expect this. I was lucky that a customer of mine already went through this and he said, Patrice, be careful because your imagination is your worst nightmare. Yeah. And uh, your worst enemy. And that was true. And uh, this is when my guitar teacher told me, Patrice, you do, should do meditation. And uh, at the same time, my mom passed away. So I had the double whammy. I was, uh, oh. I reached a point. I did not want to wake up anymore. Every night I would go to bed and I would say, I don't want to wake up for yeah. almost a year. And, uh, that's when I started meditation and I found a French app, which is very, not very well known. And uh, there is one meditation that's called monkey mind because my mind yeah. was just going in a loop, in a loop, in a loop. And I, yeah. I did that one. And the guy says uh, in the meditation, oh, now you can think about anything you want after, I don't know. He, he puts a setup for 20 minutes, something like this. And when he said that, I entered into the light. I had no thought. I was surrounded by love and light, which was freaking amazing. And I started laughing so hard. Mm. And my wife said, what happened? Did you take some weed or anything? I said, we don't have weed here. We don't have anything. <laughs> I said, no, I entered into the light. That was just magnificent. And that was the beginning of my journey. Uh, we're still having that lawsuit. But yeah. uh, then we eventually received a letter that they wanted to settle for a 75,000 euros fine and no lawsuit, no jail, blah, blah, blah. So I didn't have to go to the to court. Yeah. So that was a relief. And that's when we decided to go to Portugal because I could not stand it in France anymore. I said, we, yeah. we need a change of uh, scenario to refresh my mind. And this is when I met, met a Nepalese monk in Portugal. And she cleaned me up. So she works with massage and over pranayama breathing techniques, stretching, yoga, stuff like this. I said, I'm 50 years old. I'm going to take care of myself. So every week I would go and uh, she cleaned me up. And one day on the massage table, I vomited energy. I went, Bleh. I said, oh, what's that? And she said, we got it. I did not know what it was. I had no idea about energy work at this time. I have never heard the word Reiki in my life. I knew absolutely nothing. We're not religious people or anything. And after that point, when people touched me physically, I would see a little emoji on their body representing uh, their mood. So it was like oh. a little heart if they were happy or a yeah. little mask if they were a liar. Yeah. Uh, that was the beginning of my visions, I would say. And during meditations, I would see Buddha a lot. I was like, am I making this up? 
it oh. looked like etch a sketch. So the, the the picture was not very clear, but I knew it was real. I knew there was something, and I talked to it about uh, to my uh, to the Nepalese uh, monk. He said, "No, oh, you're making this up. Blah 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 blah. They don't come like this." But I know now. I know it's true. Buddha would show up and meditate with me. Yeah. Uh, she was surprised that I reached that state so quickly. Actually, she did not measure the impact of a trauma on the evolution of the mind. And uh, okay, so long story short, my wife was sick for a long, long time, and uh, I said, you know, we should do a ritual like I do at the massage place with uh, the monk. <laughs> yeah. And we invented we invented a ritual because she she's been sick for ten years. Nobody could figure out what she had. Yeah. And uh, I did breath of fire on her belly because she had like pain in her belly. And yeah. this is when I got a full flash, full HD flash of, uh, I did not know what it was. It looked like a musical instrument, the mouth harp, you know, from the cowboy movies. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I, was, and I was like, what is that? I said, honey, I saw a mouth harp. I have no idea. And then, bam, another visual. It was uh, something in the shape of an eight, but I knew it was parasite. But is what came in my mind was parasite. Yeah. And I typed on Google parasite in the shape of an eight. That was exactly the query I typed. That makes no sense. And the first picture that came up on Google image was the mouth heart parasite, ankylostoma. It had a name, actually. Oh. And we got very, very lucky. It's like the universe arranged everything. Uh, it was during a lockdown episode and we did an online appointment with a doctor and they did not ask for any blood test or anything. They did not, they haven't ever heard about this parasite name. They had to research it and they gave us the medicine. We, we got so lucky. They printed, it, printed us a PDF of the prescription. <laughs> we went to the pharmacy <laughs> and she got healed And uh, because the parasite was starting to eat our lungs from the inside. She had difficulty oh. breathing and stuff like that. Right, yeah, that right. was very, very bad. And then her right. health recovered. And then uh, I met some of our friends. Uh, we tried rituals and things like that just for fun. So I met people who were limping. I did a ritual on them. I could see like, <clears throat> I did not know about past lives at the time either. Yeah. But I could see a movie, like the guy was kicking the head of something. And the guy on the massage table was like, oh, what's that? I taste blood in my mouth, he said. And he was screaming, screaming, screaming. I said, in the past life, you were kicking somebody in the head. And that was it. And the guy gets off the massage table. He does not limp anymore. Oh. <laughs> he was like, what? <laughs> How did you do that? I said, I don't know. This is what happened when I saw the movie in your leg. <laughs> wow. Goodness. Was like full, full HD in my head. I was like, what is that? So I guess your wife uh, is a convert. She was healed, so she's full on board with it now. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. What about your friends and family? How did they take to this new line of work? So my dad is super excited about it. Uh, we're very open to these paranormal things in the family. Because my mom yeah. used to have a premonitory dreams all the time, and she would keep a book, and everything happened. So we know it's true. Yeah, uh, but to that level, we have never met anybody. Uh, by our family, we never had somebody who did that level of reading on uh, on a body. We did right. not even know that existed, but we are totally open to it. What about? Uh, have you had any connections with medical practitioners? Because I guess they would be a bit more skeptical, wouldn't they? These kind of people. Actually, I have a lot. Surprisingly, I was very surprised. I don't know if they find me, and they all tell me the same thing. They basically know it's true. But they cannot yeah. speak about it because they would lose their license. Ah, uh, yeah, understand. Yeah, true. I have many nurses, uh, doctors. Uh, I actually had a doctor who had a problem with her hands and she could not figure it out. I had the weirdest prescription to tell her. I received specific instructions that made absolutely no sense, but she did it for thirty days and her hands got healed. Oh, goodness. Yeah, it's sometimes I receive instructions. It's not. It's not everything is energy. It's really trying to meet the science with the holistic yeah, or the energy work. I had another lady with diabetes and I said, I cannot help you, but are there horses, horses next to your house? And she said, yeah, one and a half mile away. That was the instruction I received. I said, go see them every day for 30 days. She did it after 30 days, the diabetes was gone. Oh, <laughs> okay. I was like, what? <laughs> 
<clears throat> and then right there. So it's not, or sometimes I go, I get a message, go get, go see a dentist if you have a problem. Yeah, all right, not, right. Uh, I'm not a magician. Yeah. But, like, but I saw the film uh, The Green Mile years ago, and it's, I remember the guy, the big black guy in prison vomiting and, you know, taking it in and spitting out. I mean, this, I've heard about this in shamanic practices where people take in something and release something. It's very dramatic. Um, how does it affect you, or does it affect you? It is very dramatic. Uh, my mentor told me to be careful about that, about health and stuff. Uh, I'm not affected at all, actually. I'm not mm. drained. When I do work, I'm more energized after, oh. uh, which is very strange. And do you kind of like burp and cry or, you know, shake? Or... Oh, okay, it depends on uh, what's happening with the person in front of me. On the level of uh, problem, I should say. Now what I understand more about it. Sometimes I cry. Sometimes I laugh hysterically like a maniac. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> this is usually when it's very horrible, I laugh. That makes no oh. sense, but that's how it is. Yeah. And usually I vomit after the session. Uh, Physically? So it's or... just energy. This energy. It sounds like... Bleh. But yeah, there is yeah. really a there is really a texture that comes out. It's really hard to explain. Mm, mm, mm. It's like yeah. a very very soft gummy bear. I don't even know where it's coming from. Honestly, I don't yeah. even know how my body can produce this. Wow, it's mysterious. So I had people with uh, incurable diseases uh, healed by miracle. Yeah. Honestly, I have no idea. Sometimes I see energies working on their body. I have no idea idea how this works. Yeah. I know I'm not a channel, I'm not a healer. I'm just here to be the conduct for something bigger that we don't understand. You don't work, uh, do you work with spirit guides or angels or anything like that? Uh, no, but I've seen no. them sometimes during healing. I've seen uh, Archangel Raphael show up once for a kid, a kid with lung disease who actually healed miraculously. That was in dreams. But at the beginning, I started to have dreams when people contacted me. That's why it's called Night Shift Guy. Okay. That's why about that domain name. I did not think I would do this during the day after, but yes. <laughs> wow. And I know before the... this. Oh, go on. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. Uh, yeah. I've seen dragons also sometimes, uh, yeah. unicorns, uh, and I've seen divinities that I had never heard of before, like Quetzalcoatl, for example, or uh, Mahakali, or Shiva. Or over divinities had to research, even Saint Germain. I mean, Saint Germain showed up in front of me. I'd never seen that guy before. Like, who's that? <laughs> so right. I'm just wow. learning. We're not, re we are not religious. We don't go to church. So we don't even have a Bible or a cross at home. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Is your, is your wife spiritual? Was she spiritual before this happened? Or she was before, but she stopped for a while. And now she's coming back into it with all the events. Yeah. I can imagine. I can imagine. Uh, yeah. Yeah, she started channeling. <laughs> so was ah, cool. she, ah, okay, because I know before the call, you said that clients are activating their gifts during sessions now, and this is a new thing. Can you say something about that? Yeah, since last month, uh, this is what I've noticed. The first client, it happened, she's like, oh my God, what is it around you? Just after at the end of the session, I'm seeing a color. And she, I say, oh my God, you can see auras. And she could even see her own aura. So she was looking at her hand. She was like, oh my God, I have a light around my hand. And this is this has happened more and more, like five or six people in one month, in the last month, which is a lot. And wow. some people started channeling or activating their clairvoyance also. Uh, or they would receive messages for me. And they say, uh, I don't know why. This is for you. I have no idea what this means. And this is that was very strange because three days, three days in a row, uh, three clients said exactly the same thing. We got the same message for me. Mm. So it's like I, well, not me, but I don't know if it works. I clean them up, and they activate. Yeah. And I've seen I've met two people who can see energies. I met a shaman uh, from Amazonia and a lady in France who can actually see energy, and they described exactly what's going on in my head as the healing is being done. And they said it's like ethereal surgery, but they told me mm -hmm. you're doing it at a speed we have never seen before. And oh. uh, I believe I'm bringing this from my starseed planet, whatever that is. I don't exactly know where I'm coming from. Nobody can yeah. figure, figure it out. Right. And uh, okay. yeah, it seems like it's a new technology that I'm bringing here. Like many starseeds are coming to bring something for humanity. Yeah. 
and have worked with other healers and I'm um, able to attune them to this so they can use it for their patient and the healing is way, way faster than anything else that uh, has been seen before, apparently. I'm just transcribing uh, what they're telling me, so. Do you do you see different, like for example, cancer in the body? Do you see that in a certain way, or do you see heart problem in a certain way? Do you see things differently, or feel it, it differently? De it depends. Sometimes I get a visual, like it's like really a picture, like uh, somebody went inside the body, took a photo, yeah, or a movie. It's like a camera, but a camera. Yeah. Sometimes I see it as energy, so it's like a triangle planted in the heart, or uh, some other object. Uh, and sometimes I see it's like, uh, well, I'm going to go for it. It's like an entity attached to, uh -huh, the, yeah. to the organ. So there's like a tick or a crab that's feeding off the organ. And this right. kind of stuff I can remove. And usually when it's an entity like this, I really vomit really hard. It's, oh, uh, yeah. Well, oh, it's horrible. Do those entities feel like actual parasites or something kind of astral or... Well, how do you what, how do you experience these entities attached to organs? Yeah, I think it's astral, honestly. Astral, uh, yeah, yeah. Rather than the physical parasite, they're astral, like astral parasites. Oh yeah, but astral. Perhaps. Yeah, I believe it's like three D world is like a radio. Oh, excuse me, the dog. <laughs> the astral <laughs> world, the astral world, the three D world is like a radio. So three D is one hundred FM, and there's like different uh, vibration up to let's say 150 fm 150 yeah. is like uh, i don't know buddha or jesus christ let's say but if you are at 100 100 is us 101 is maybe uh, the astral parasites and they can tune in into our vibration to feed uh, feed off of us when we are at a low vibe uh, we're not happy or and they feed us of feed off of our energy i think yeah it's yeah wow really. that's amazing now, how do people find you? I know you offer sessions and you offer training. You mentioned training people, but how, how is it just coming to your website? How do they find your this offerings? Is a, this is a mystery. Honestly, I have people from all over the world. I don't know how they find me. I have doctors from India contacting me. Uh, it's like they see me, they see my face. They're like, oh my God, I have to contact that guy. We all say that. It's like, well, I saw your name. I knew it's you. Maybe it's contracted in the astral plane or uh, up there. I don't know if it works. Yeah. Uh, and for training or attunement, it's word of mouth for now. Uh, yeah. But so it works. Uh, they can contact I, you through your website, can't they? Definitely, yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, and on the website we've given, and I'll give a link to it, which is uh, Night Shift Guy. You can't forget that. It's an interesting website. <laughs> <laughs> It's very basic. I made it simple. I did not want to do a marketing website. I say I'm going to show I'm truly am a simple guy, and it's very straightforward. And uh, yeah, and I've been contacted by some scientists, and we started to do a healing for patients who where they cannot find a solution. Mm. We do not know what to do. Uh, mm. So I met a healthcare professional in Switzerland. And we just started like three weeks ago. Uh, we already have results on two patients. So, of course, the recovery is slow, but we can see that the disease is improving. So we don't know how it's working, but we know it's working. It'd be good to get you on camera, maybe, working with these people and just seeing them over a period of time healing. It's in progress. That's what we're doing. Yeah. You'll be on Netflix one day and you'll be flooded with work. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I just want so, to be happy, help people, and uh, teach people how to do this. I'm going to tune them. I don't know if it works, but uh, yeah, I can I can only do so much alone, honestly. I can of only course. take one or two patients a day because sometimes the sessions are very long. Uh, my longest session was seven hours. I oh. don't want I, because I don't want to work with time. Uh, after what happened with COVID. Because people were lonely and I don't want to become a factory and do a one hour session. Oh, sorry, your hours is no, I want to finish the work. I take the yeah, time yeah. with the patient because people are lonely. Uh, I get many yeah. lonely persons and uh, just spending the time with them is a healing in itself. And it That's makes beautiful. Feel them so good to be heard because they have nobody to talk to about their disease. And I approach the disease in a in a way, I would say. I don't hesitate to joke, so I really consider them and I don't uh, 
to beat them because they are sick. I don't know if I can say it like this. It's very difficult because my English is limited, but uh, I don't want to feel bad about them. I want to make their journey beautiful, <coughs> raise their vibration, uh, and it's working. That's all I can say. It's fantastic. Working. Fantastic. Well, look, Patrice, it's great talking with you. And um, the website, again, is Night Shift Guy. And look, if you're interested in becoming a medical medium or having a session with Patrice, just drop him a line through the website. And Patrice, thanks so much. It's been lovely chatting with you. It's a great Thank subject. You. Thank you so much, Steve.